So everyone is talking about Britney Spears. Yesterday, a judge ordered her dad to step down from her 13-year-old conservatorship. And we're going to chat with someone who was in the courtroom. So we are joined by senior correspondent at Variety, Elizabeth Wagmeister. Thank you so much for joining us. You were in the courtroom. So take us inside. First, I'm just curious, what was the vibe like? Was there a lot of tension? There was. Oh, we are experiencing some technical difficulties. Hopefully we will get her back. In the meantime, um, I know I know she also spoke to one of our producers before, and I'm not gonna speak for her, but one thing I knew is the vibe that she felt was quite hostile inside, which I know no one has known since no one's been able to get in. So I, I can't imagine being in that courtroom though. Yeah, how many people did they let in there? Do it's you up know? to the judge. So it's how many people, if there's audio, if there's video, if a reporter can just write down notes. So they only allow a certain amount for press and they right. sit in a certain area but for like instance the OJ case Ito let everybody in yeah, it was so circus. it's up to the judge to make it I was circus or ask not. You that because yeah. I, the, uh, why is it and obviously your father's a, a lawyer so maybe you might have some insight on this why is it some cases they don't let them in and you just see the sketch you know that the no whole, cameras and then yeah, yeah and then uh, so it's completely up to the judge I've always wondered that yeah and for some judges feel like you need transparency and for people to be able to see it on TV like Judge Ito we could watch all of us but that created a certain type of precedent for what that means so some but judges prefer the taxpayers quiet. why aren't we allowed to see what's going on in a courtroom there are some people that wait in line if you see those people that like the Britney for Jody instance Arias case we exactly had, yeah. and they allow about 10 people in from the public because that is a long-standing tradition of being able to see someone get judged but sometimes the judge is very private. And I think the judge did a nice job on this case. We haven't heard one leak. We're just excited to talk to uh, Elizabeth about it because she certainly was there, but no leak so far, so nice job. I don't think they should be allowed in there. I know you think they should, but in the OJ case, I think it would have been a lot different had they not, because it turned into a social issue rather than, you know, what right. was at stake there. And I think when you do that and you bring in the outside, it kind of could change the course of the whole case. But then think of like George Zimmerman. We do Zimmerman. have Elizabeth oh, back. We do have oh. her back. So Elizabeth, what was the climate like in the courtroom? Was there a lot of tension? You know, thank you for having me. It's live TV, this happens, but I am so excited to chat with you because it was a very dramatic hearing. In the courtroom, it was contentious between Britney Spears' lawyer, Matthew Rosengart, and Jamie Spears' lawyer, Vivian Thoreen. Vivian was on Zoom, but Matthew Rosengart was in the courtroom. It was really just media. A few members of the public were lined up outside, but inside the courtroom, it was really media because obviously this is such a high profile case. And there was a lot of back and forth between the two attorneys. It was very clear, at least from my perspective, that Jamie Spears' attorney realized that this wasn't going in the direction that she hoped. And she wasn't hiding her emotion. She seemed very upset about it. Sometimes she stumbled over her words. And at times when she was talking, Brittany's lawyer stood up at the table and interrupted her and then the judge had to interject. So it was definitely a lot of back and forth for nearly two hours. Wow. So Elizabeth, what was Jamie's defense? And could he sense, you know, that his hearing wasn't going the way or their lawyers, I should say, Jamie's lawyers, sense that it wasn't going their way at any point? I believe so. From my perspective, it seemed that they absolutely sensed that this wasn't going in the right direction. And the defense was a little perplexing. There wasn't much evidence in uh, his attorney's defense. But what she was arguing was that we should just terminate this conservatorship. And Jamie Spears had filed to terminate the conservatorship, which was a complete 180 from, from everything that he has said over the past 13 years. But as recently as August, he was in favor of this conservatorship. When he filed that paperwork to terminate it, a lot of questions arose and legal experts that I spoke to basically said that this appears to be a legal strategy to absolve him from any potential wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. Well, Brittany's attorney, he thought that too, and that's what he said in response. He said, we're not terminating today. We know the court isn't going to just snap its fingers and end this thing after 13 years. There needs to be a properly orderly transition for my client, Britney Spears. And by the way, he needs to be suspended because if he's suspended, then he is required under law to hand over all of the paperwork wow. to the Discovery, temporary yep. conservators 
and now exactly now that's what they're looking into and matthew rosengart said that they look forward to investigating jamie spears good lawyer that rosengart he knows what he's doing i want to know if there was any loud reactions or any even audible reactions when the judge ruled was there cheering i know free britney people were around yeah, so in the courtroom, it was actually pretty mellow. And I think that's because it was media. And, you know, we, quite frankly, were told by the judge not to make any noise yeah, right. with what happened there. But you're absolutely right that there was a ton of free Britney supporters outside of the courthouse. And I have to tell you, you could hear them from inside the courtroom, wow. which was not on street level. You could hear them cheering. And I interviewed a lot of them both before the hearing and after. And the energy was, I mean, you see it right here. It was, I mean, it's hard to describe. It was insane because this is what all of these fans have been fighting for for so long. And they do deserve credit because a lot of people were calling them conspiracy theories. Yeah. But they called this out for what it appears to be and for what Britney testified it is years ago. Yeah, they must all feel vindicated. Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us today <laughs> and for bearing with us with all the technical, technical difficulties. We appreciate you. <laughs>